Hey, this is D from MagicGamePlan.com. Check out MagicGamePlan.com for Magic the Gathering strategy. In this video, I played my Birthing Pod deck, which I've named Value Bant Pod, and I played against Red Deck Wins. Uh, this was from a standard daily event. If you're watching on YouTube, you can click the link below to see the deck list. So here I'm on to play in game one, and I've got all all the colors uh, in my opener and I've got a, a play on turn one and turn two so this is a definite keeper start off with birds of paradise he has spike shot elder and I'm just gonna tap out for some attackers alright then I play Verdian emissary and swing for three and play Phantasmal Image to copy Verdant Emissary. This is funny here because he's tapping out for uh, Stormquirk Noble and Stormblood Berserker without Bloodthirst. So usually in this matchup, Bant Pod is the control deck, plays a control role, but I had a pretty fast draw and he had a slow draw. So um, he's on a defensive which is kind of rare, especially on game one. Anyways, he's got Spike Shot Elder and three mana, so my guys are going to start dying. Um, so, just since all I, all I have are one toughness guys, so I'm just going to keep attacking with everyone. Plus, I'm winning the race. He chump blocks, and I get two basic lands. Then I play Slime on his Rootbound Crag. Yep, just drew a land. Just keep attacking, and he kills um, Phantasma Image, copied uh, Viridian Emissary, and he goes down to 11. He plays Grim Lava Mancer, and keep attacking. He shoots down my 1-1. One, one. Play my dude. And here, my guys, he plays Shrine. I attack. He kills Slime with Grim Lava Mancer. I hit him for one. He goes to eight. And play Solemn Simulacrum. And he incinerates Simulacrum. I draw Elish Norn. And this game is pretty much over. I play both my guys. His guys die because of because of Elish Norn, and then I swing for five. He's at three. Red really has red doesn't have anything to deal with Elish Norn, so he scoops. Here's how I've been sideboarding for Red Deck wins. I bring in a ton of cards because it can be a tough matchup and there's a lot of good sideboard cards against red so this has been working out well for me I think I have I have a positive record against mono red so on to game two here's my opener and it's pretty good I've got two turn one plays um, birds of paradise and advocates pilgrim that I can choose from and then if he doesn't have a removal spell then I can play blade splicer even if he has a removal spell it's still pretty good this hand's still pretty good because I have uh, the other um, birds of birds of, the other one drop or I can just draw another land and play blade splicer blade splicer is just pretty good in this matchup so he does not have a removal spell. Actually, I think he does. He does have Arc Trail, but he waits to save it uh, to try to kill more guys, which I think mm, might be a mistake because Arc Trail would have slowed me down even if all he does is kill one guy. There's the Arc Trail. See, I still have a 3-3 Golem that came in up that that was played on turn two. So I think he just Arc Trail the my pilgrim on 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 his turn too 
So here I'm gonna. I could play Birthing Pod, but I don't want to spend the life, and I've got Birds of Paradise to give me the fourth mana source, so I can pay four next turn. Plus, Spellkite is just great at protecting Birds of Paradise and my Golem, so I can keep beating down. He plays two Shrines. I swing. Tree of Redemption is the play here instead of Birthing Pod and Solemn Simulacrum. Tree's just better. Pod, I don't want to pod any of my guys. And Simulacrum, there's nothing. I don't have anything that I'm ramping to, so. Plus, I'm at a high life, 20 life, which is perfect for Tree of Redemption. He plays Chandra's Phoenix, hits me to 18. So. I can use tree and switch my life to get tree to 18 and then when I get low on life I can just go back to 18. Here the play is uh, again I don't want to use pod on any of my creatures um, and solemn ramps my mana up to 6 mana so I can play frost titan next turn. So I swing bring him down to 11 and then here I'm just gonna go back to 18 life he plays Geist Flame on Birds of Paradise and I definitely wanna save birds because um, I need I need it to pay 6 mana for Frost Titan next turn so I pay 1 to redirect and then he plays Incinerate on Golem, and that's my best clock. So I'm going to save it, even though Spellkite's going to die. I'm at 9 life, but that's no problem, because I have Tree of Redemption to bring me to 18 life on my turn. So, yeah, I go back to 18, bring him to a swing for 5, he goes to 6. Okay, here's where I made a mistake. I was playing, uh, when I'm ahead, that's when I tend to make mistakes. Um, here I was just playing autopilot, and normally um, you want to tap shrine here, because shrine is more threatening than lands. But what I didn't realize is shrine of burning rage is already on five counters. So he, if he has a, another land on his turn, then he can pay five mana, crack a shrine, crack the other shrine, and then kill Frost Titan. So if I just tapped the land, then he wouldn't have the five mana to kill Frost Titan. And then with Frost Titan and two other creatures with um, totaling five power, and he's already at six. I mean, if he can't kill Frost Titan, then he's just gonna lose uh, next turn. Um, most likely unless he has a ton of chump blockers but I tap Shrine of Burning Rage and he had the fifth land so he could kill Frost Titan which made my which is the key key is which was the key creature um, but he was able to kill it not a good trade for me. The other shrine has six counters, and so that's pretty threatening. So I'm just gonna cast Pod and turn Simulacrum into Acidic Slime through Pod. First, I attack. I'm still in a good position, but this game would have been over if I had tapped the land with Frost Titan instead of uh, Sh Shrine of Burning Rage. He plays Koth, and he actually goes minus two, and then Brimstone Volley Golem, and Arc Trail, Birds of Paradise, and Acidic Slime. then swings for two 
and what did I do here? Ah, right before I got hit, I used tree again. So, and go back to 18 life, play blade splicer, and I played O-Ring, and Chandra can be a chump blocker, so that's the target rather than Koth. I don't really care about Koth because I'm at 18 life and he's at 3 life. And I'm going to turn Tree of Redemption into Geist Honored Monk. And he scoops.